a nice sedan, Steve. Can <laughs> you ride the back? I'm not sitting in the front. Get the sedan that commands respect. Introducing the dynamic Japanese-engineered Subaru Legacy. Here we've got Chris Rodler, Assistant Circulation Manager of the Lethbridge Herald and Chief Judge and Co-Chairman of the Lethbridge Regional Science Fair at the University of Lethbridge. Chris, could you give us a little insight as to the quality of the competition at the science fair this year? I have to say that the quality of uh, competition this year is, is fantastic. I've uh, never seen uh, such high quality projects at, at a science fair uh, for every student that's here. And uh, that's, really, uh, that's really great to see because um, it's showing that kids are excited in science and they want to do something about uh, what, what their, uh, what their uh, interests are. And you're, you're sitting beside a, a board of sponsors. I understand, uh, Chris, that there's a, a first in the fair this year that every student is given some kind of recognition. That is correct. This is the first year that we've ever had that, uh, or the first year that we've had where uh, every student gets uh, recognition, every student will get an award this year. So um, everybody walks away happy. And of course, this leads to the, the Canada-wide Science Fair in Peterborough, Ontario. That's correct. Could you give us a little glimpse of how many will be going from this fair? We will have uh, four participants this year going to uh, to that fair from the from the Lethbridge Regional Science Fair, and uh, uh, all participants um, will be excited as soon as they find out, and uh, they um, they're they're going to represent Lethbridge very well out there in Peterborough. And I understand there will also be a member of the organizing committee going. That is correct. I'm the one that gets to take them out there, so um, I'm quite excited about it. And uh, this will be my sixth year going, so um, I learn a lot every year when I go, and uh, I know I have a good time with the kids too, so it's, it's a lot of fun. Chris, with such a good quality of, of uh, entry this year, what is your outlook for next year? Next year, uh, Outlook is outlook is high. Outlook is really good. Um, I, I'm seeing a lot of kids coming up from grade four all the way up to grade nine, grade ten that are um, that are interested in science, interesting in trying to make a difference in their lives and possibly in lives of others. And I think that um, I think that quality and uh, and outlook is really really good for next year. Thank you very much, Chris. You're welcome. Okay, we're at the Lethbridge Science Fair at the University of Lethbridge. We've got Dylan Babb and Noah Morton from G.S. Lakey School in Lethbridge, and they're talking about fast food preservatives. Uh, they've got a, a great display here, a very colorful display on their table here. And we're getting over to uh, uh, Noah. Noah, what in the world have you got in your hands there, young man? I've got an eight-week-old burger from McDonald's. And what is what is what are you telling us about the eight-week-old burger at McDonald's? Would you have a bite of that right now? No. <laughs> so what about fast food preservatives, Noah? Well, we're, me and Dylan are trying to find out which burgers have the most preservatives in them. Okay. How do you do that? Well, we left. We took three fast food burgers: McDonald's, Wendy's, and AEW. We made one homemade burger. We put them all in jars like this and closed them up and we left them there for eight weeks. Every week we took pictures of them and then we just recorded what they were doing. Okay, Dylan, now what, what, what can you add about this tremendous little display you got here? Well, how we got the idea was we were looking around on YouTube and found a video and I had this guy, he took three or four different sandwiches from McDonald's, put them in a glass jar and then every two months you document them, and this went on for 12 months. And at the end of the test, they're all saturated at the bottom of the jar and look nothing like a fast food burger. So what we tried to do is we tried to recreate the results that he got. Now, have you got a bottom line result that you could add to what uh, Noah had said? Well, what we did was we got the burgers and then we took our results of each week. And so we're in week eight now. And just kind of writing what we saw about the mold and just all the different things that happen each week. Yeah. Now, are you convinced that the fast food additives and preservatives perhaps are a good thing? They're not a good 
thing. There's far too many in the burgers. Okay, so what you're going to say is mother has to get the barbecue out a little more often? Yeah. Okay, gentlemen, thank you very, very much, and congratulations on your science fair.